Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How you doing, Chalo? Hello. Alexander. What about you? Oh, good, good, good weekend. Que rojito me veo. Could be the light. <laughs> Whoa. Ricardo, Alexander, hello. Chalo, how was your weekend? Well, it uh, was very good. I went to the Sur City. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. What did but you think? But it's a lot of people. Uh, it's a lot of people there. <laughs> There's a lot. Yeah, they yeah. were. Just go, just we arrived and turned around. <laughs> and you came back? Yeah, yeah because there's no place for parking many people everybody has gone they they gone a little bit crazy yeah but it's beautiful um the way many people in the street taking picture buying some ice cream <laughs> yeah i want to do that Chalo. watch i i am going to do it one of yeah. these days i'm going to do it but you know, I've been working, I've been working a lot and it feels like, it feels kind of tough because I, I can't, you know, when it's my day off, I have to do other things like go to the bank and go pay bills. And so it makes it a little bit tough. I have like Monday and Tuesday, for example, as a day off. And so it makes it a little bit hard. But that's yeah, good. But yeah the next week you can go and that's what i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping if not you know what i'm gonna call in sick one of these days <laughs> yeah <laughs> to, to say you it. will have a a, a whole week for you right right el, el, como es el, el, el teacher como se llama el suplente <laughs> no i wouldn't do that to you guys yeah the tomo yeah we're almost done <clears throat> we are almost done How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I just saw something that's on here. Uh, let me see if it works. It says, add a question. Hold on, hold on, guys. That's weird. All right, let me see. It says, let's see, there's a poll. Have you finished sections one through three? Let's see. Well, it's the same. I think it's going to be the same thing. Have you finished and then we're going to put multiple choice. Yes. No. Let's see if that works. All right, let's see how it comes out, guys. This is new. This I had not seen before. Did you guys get a kind of like a little section in Zoom that, that's making a poll? Oh, you guys got it. You guys saw it. So it asks you the question, have you finished sections one through three? And then it gives you the option of either yes or no. Yeah, baby, it worked. You know what? Como es, ahora que vamos terminando, ahora funciona, vas a creer. All right. 
All right, good, good, guys. Let me see, it says share results. Let me go ahead and share them with you. Can you guys see them? So it shows that everybody did. All right, good, good for you guys. Uh, let me see here, let me get out of there. So there's a few things. I think there was like an update to Zoom. Hello, Jarvin, hello, Diana. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi. Good, good evening. Ya te iba a decir good night, fíjate. Good evening, good evening. So I know that the poll, like you could do like the, the you know how what we just did, a quick question, see how much, how many people had completed what, but I wasn't able to see it before. And now I do see it on my Zoom. So something must have happened because now I could see it. Well, that's pretty good, you know. Hello, hello, everybody, hello. Today is Monday. Welcome to Monday. If you're having a bad case on Monday, se dice, you are having a bad case of the Mondays. Ah, oh, I changed it. Sorry about that. Mondays. Así tiene que ser. Mondays. So people use this a lot when they work in offices or when they work in places where there's a lot of people. I have a bad case of the Mondays. And it's in reference to you having either a cold, um, maybe you caught uh, some sort of I don't want to say a disease but but you know it's 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 along those those uh, terms um, como que agarraste algo right uh, like uh, I want to say like the flu uh, cold um, you know something that's so severe so when you're having a bad day and you don't want to show up on, on, uh, to work or to school you can say, I'm having a bad day. I'm having a severe case of the Mondays. And people will understand that it's you're not having a really good day on a Monday. So bad case of the Mondays. And then for Tuesday, they have something as well. Uh, I think we can refer to it tomorrow, right? So how, well, for me, it was a little bit of a crazy day. So I had a crazy Monday. I wouldn't say that it was a bad case of the Mondays, but it could have been, I think, right? It could have it could have been better. So I'm gonna leave it as just having a crazy Monday. How would you categorize your Monday? How did it go today? You guys can put it on the chat or you guys can share it with everybody how was your monday average monday rick all right now are your are your mondays either good or bad as an average good or bad mostly good all right good good all right that'll work how about everybody else how was your mondays did anybody have a bad case of the Mondays? It was just bad from the very beginning. Like you got up and it was just bad. All right, all right. I, I, can, I can feel that, Diana, I can feel that. You know, it can get pretty stressful on Mondays. Remember, where I, remember what I told you about the job interviews? If they ask you what is your favorite day of the week? All right, Joe, Monday, Tuesday are always the best options, right? Because everybody hates Mondays. So everybody that you talk to and mostly everybody will say something bad about Monday, right? And so the expectation is that you will say something, you know, along the, the same line. And so they're pretty shocked when you guys come up and say Monday. Right, because it's a new week, so it's a restart. 
borrón y cuenta nueva, right? Scratch. Jarvin, I could imagine, I could imagine. Crazy Monday. All right. All right, everybody. How is the platform working out for you guys? Let me go ahead and share the platform and see what's going on there. Let's see, let's see. I think that's, there we go. How's the platform working out? Sections one through three, hopefully we were able to complete. As you guys can see, I have only still completed one. Well, no, I have only completed section two. I think I'm missing some parts of section one. I should have that finished this week. Section three, we finished last week. And then we're starting off in section four. So let, let me go ahead and click on that. And of course, by maybe Thursday and Friday, we can go into the final test. Maybe a little bit sooner to kind of review it. And this is the beginning. Well, I'm sorry about that. Here it is, 4.0. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Good, good. Okay. So then from here, if you guys already got here, remember all you guys have to do is click on the next button and you start off with the first module, which is reduced time clauses. Okay, and this is where it begins. Now remember that the video touches up on, on, on things that are very specific. And so in this particular case, it touches up on just a portion of reduced time clauses. And so what I like to do is I like to kind of go over general so that you guys are more aware of what's going on in terms of, you know, everywhere at all times. And so what I did is I got you guys a little bit on a presentation that touches up on time clauses. And then once we touch up on the time clauses, we're gonna touch up on the more specific reduced times, or it's actually just called reducing, okay? Um, when you guys Google it, you guys can Google it as, well, you guys can put reduced time clauses. However, you're not gonna get the exact same hits, I would say. You know, different things come up because when you talk about reducing, Time clauses, there's actually a few things that are involved. Uh, there's, I believe there's like maybe six or seven rules that cover uh, reduction. And so it, it all, it all kind of just falls into, um, I want to say uh, reduced adverb clauses, I believe it's called. And so when you when you go through that, that's when you guys start to see uh, the time clauses, the adverb clauses, um, and then so there's there's like a list of the ones that you guys should you know should pay attention to. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna cover the general uh, version of it so that you guys have a better understanding how it used in, in normal everyday conversation, and it touches up on mostly all of them. So you guys should be okay with that. All right, so let's start off with just the explanation of time clauses. Now, before we begin, how many of you guys have gone and have already reached section 4.0, 4.1, 4.2? How many of you guys have already completed those? Is there anybody that already hit the 100% mark and completed all the sections, including the final? Diana, you finished everything? Well, well done, well done. Okay, for everybody else, if you guys are not there, don't worry, remember we still have this week, but I do, I, I do recommend for you guys to start pushing, right? To start pushing to try to get it done so that you guys get to at least the 80%. All right, so this is how we start off, right? First thing we're gonna touch up on is time clauses. Now, the time clauses are used when something happens. 
okay? And these are the ones that we see the most. If you guys, if you guys could please join me in repeating, uh, you could do it without the mic, you could do it with the mic on, just make sure you guys kind of follow along and repeat them so that you, you know, whenever we have to use them or you have to use them, you already have a little bit of practice. So we're going to start off on this side. We're going to start off with when. Gwen. It almost sounds like a name, right? It almost sounds like we're saying Gwen Stefani. When. As, not as in but, right? This is a more quick, sharper as. The other one, since it has two S's, there's a little bit more on a, you know, it's, it's a little bit longer when you guys say the other word. So far, we have when and we have as. Until, until, is the next one, until, next one is after, so far we have when, we have as, we have until, and we have after. Moving on to while. And this is the one that they touch up on the video, while. You change while, and I'll explain to you guys what the rule is for while. While. Next word is since. Como cuando decís sensei, ¿va? pero no decís se, se, sensei, sino que solo te quedas en since. Since. Next one is as soon as. As soon as. I'm sure, I'm sorry, you guys. Am I showing you the screen? Whoa, I don't think I'm showing you guys the screen. Hold it, guys. Sorry about that. Whoa, whoa, there you go. Can you guys see the screen now? Yes. I'm so sorry about that. Now the words that you guys can see are still the same. When, as, until, after, while, since, as soon as, and the last word is before, okay? All of these are the words that you guys can use in terms of a time clause, okay? Now, each one of these has a specific rule of when you can use them, all right? Let's start off with when. So now, you have when, while, and as, all three. All three fall under the same rule. All three of these can be used for two events happening at the same time, meaning during the time, right? So the example is the earthquake occurred when, while, or as they were sleeping. So you can say it and you can use any of those three and it will be good. The earthquake occurred when they were sleeping, the earthquake occurred while they were sleeping, the earthquake occurred as they were sleeping. And all three are good versions and you guys can use them. Do you guys have any questions about when, while, and as? Teacher, I have a question. Jarvin, yes. 
when you are using as, what is the meaning in these sentences? Well, when... Mm. When you use as. So for example, Jarvin, when you say the earthquake occurred as they were sleeping, for example, right? We, we are using as. You could say that the direct, we could do, we could do the translation. El temblor pasó or ocurrió mientras ellos dormían. So as they were sleeping, there was an earthquake. I, I think that that would be, I don't know, let me see if, let me see if I have a different, because, let me see. You know, the thing is that you can use it as, you can use it as an adverb for comparison. For example, when you say go as fast as you can, uh, you can use it as a conjunction. Frank watched him as, but I don't know if that's gonna, let me see. Let me see, let me just put the word What would be the term in Spanish? Let me see. So the direct translation would be como. And then there's mientras or cuando as examples. I'm going to say that. It just depends on how you use it, Jarvin. Okay. And so the so if you could use it as a comparison tool, well, yeah, you can use it as a you can use it as an adverb, you can use it as a conjunction, you can use it as a preposition. And so it just depends on how you're using it. Here in this particular slide. They are using it as a, um, while they were sleeping, as they were sleeping. So I'm thinking that they're using it as a conjunction here. Now, the idea is that as in this particular version, is used as a time clause because what you are trying to say is that in time something else was happening so in this particular case and in, in the particular case that we're using it here in this slide is being used as a time clause because we are comparing two things that are happening at the very same time, Jarvin. And so in these cases, you can use it. Now, uh, you can also say, for example, the accident. The accident happened as they were walking on the sidewalk. And it's two separate things that are happening at the same time. And so you want to let people know that they are occurring right there and then. And so that's why that's how it's being used in this particular case. The idea is that since we are looking at time clauses, as falls into one of those words that we can use in the same way we use when and while. All right, Jarvin, 
We're good. Okay, okay. Kind of, yes, maybe. Yes, yes. Ah, no, man, yes no, I got no, it. Vos no, no. well, sí, sí, Jarvin, ya vamos a terminar, hombre. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jarvin. Good question. All right. Now, there's a couple more that, remember, these are only the first three. And remember what we're doing, right? You can only use these three words if the two events are happening at the same time. If something happened before and something is about to happen or is happening after, you can't use it anymore. Okay? You cannot have an earthquake and then go to sleep. The earthquake and sleeping have to be happening at the same time in order for you guys to be able to use when, while, or as, as a time clause. Are we clear on that? Good. Okay, okay. All right. All right, so then we have the, the next one. We have as soon as, and we have once. Now, that one, I know that sometimes when we see it, we wanna say once, like the number 11. But we don't say it like that. We say once. Now, as soon as or once can be used immediately after. So you guys see the guy walking out and then right after it started to ring. As soon as Anthony left the house, it started to ring. Once Anthony left the house, it started to rain. This is the case specifically for as soon as and once. Once he closed the door, it started to rain. As soon as he walked out, it started to rain. So this is the example of you guys using as soon as or once. Is everybody okay with this one? All right, moving on to the next one, before or earlier than. She left before I could tell her something. She left before I could tell her something. She left before I could kiss her. She left before I could tell her that I love her. Uh, she left before I could give her my gift or her gift, before. Now, what does that mean? It means that she left earlier than. That's why we have it set up this way. So she left earlier than I could tell her something. She left before. Is everybody good with this one? This one's pretty easy, right? To the point. So far, so good, good. We have another one, which is after. Okay, we know this one, right? After. After everyone is gone from the party, we're going to clean up all the mess. So what has to happen? The party has to end. And once the party ends, ah, there you go. You can use it like that, right? Once the party ends, we all need to clean up. You can use it in that way. Uh, Luis Enrique, Jorge, hello, hello. Welcome aboard. I, I don't remember if I said welcome, Jarvin, but a welcome, welcome, uh, Jose Roberto. Just in case I forgot, just in case I forgot, wanted to welcome you guys on board. Okay. Next word that we're using, until or till. Up to that time, that's what it means, right? Up to that time. So how do we use it? I won't travel to London till I have enough money. You can either say until or you can say till. Both cases, both words can be used and they are okay. I won't travel to London until I have enough money. I won't travel to London till I have enough money. I won't travel to London until I get my vacations from work. 
I won't travel to London till my vacations are approved. You guys can use it that way as well. So you guys can use either or until or till. Up to that time, I won't be able to travel. Okay. All right. Moving forward a little bit. Here we go. We have since or from the moment, from that time. I've played tennis since I was a young girl. Rafael, I know that you've been playing soccer since you were a young boy. How long have yeah. you been playing soccer, Rafael? <laughs> Um, for about 19 years, I think. That's quite a long time, yeah. Since you were a young boy. Yeah. All right. You could say since you were a little kid as well. Young boy yes. is, a, is a little bit more specific, but you could say since I was a kid. And that will still work. And this one we use to give a specific time when we started and how long we've been doing it. I've been playing PlayStation 4 for about two years. You could say it like that, right? I've been a gamer since I was 14 years old. And you could use it that way. I've played tennis since I was a young girl. This is the example that we're using. And remember that since means from the moment, from the moment, from that time on, I've been doing this. You could use it that way. Okay, moving. Ever since, this one is used continuously since a specific time of event. Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble taking a shower. Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble tying my shoelaces. Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble writing long sentences. So you can say it that way. So you could say ever since in that way. All right. Whenever, anytime, any place. You can use either whenever or you can use every time. Whenever I am very worried, I have trouble getting asleep. Every time I'm worried, I have trouble getting sleep. Every time I drink a lot of coffee, I have trouble getting sleep. Whenever I drink a lot of coffee, I have trouble going to sleep. So you can use it in any way and you can use both. Whenever. And every time. Every time. Whenever I exercise, my shoulders hurt. You could use it that way. Every time I exercise, my shoulder hurts. You can also use it in that way. Is everybody good so far? Everybody good with the words? Pretty easy, right? All right, let's go into some of the rules. When you guys see a time clause, when a time clause appears at the beginning of the sentence, 
comma must be used after it. Okay, it's the first thing. My friends visited me while I was recovering in the hospital. There's the time clause, but it's not at the beginning, right? Now we swap that around and we have while, while I was recovering in the hospital, comma, my friends visited me. So this is a clear example of how you guys should use it and when you guys should use that comma if you guys are using a clause. If you guys see a clause at the beginning, please remember that you, you are going to need a comma to separate those. That rule I think is pretty easy, right? Now we go into the reductions. A time clause with before, after, or while can be reduced only if the subject in the sentence's other clause is the same. Mm -hmm. After I work out, I take a shower. After working out, I take a shower. I take a shower after working out. And this is the reduction that you guys see during the exercises. And I believe the word that was being used is while. While. After I work out, you can say, well, you can say before I work out, I take a shower. Before I go into the pool, I take a shower. You can say, while I work out, I take a shower. It's kind of weird, right? But it could happen. Just remember the rule. Okay. Let's see if we can see an, some other types. Let me see if I have an example I can show you guys. A little here. I'll move it up. Let me see. And here's one. Let's see. Before he bought the house, he did a lot of research. Before buying the house, he did a lot of research. So you guys can, that's the reduction. Let's see if I have another one. Let me see. After she had lunch, she went back to work. After having lunch, she went back to work. You guys see how it's after having lunch, comma, she went back to work, okay? Before buying the house, he did a lot of research. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let me see, now those are examples. I wanna say that these are reduced adverb clauses with time let me see there are some hints here also that i can give you guys so when you guys are reducing adverb clauses of time it usually happens or the most common ones that you guys will see will be for before, after, and since. Let me show you guys like that. Okay, before, after, and since. What should you do? Step one, keep the time word. 
Step two, remove the subject. And step three, change the verb to a gerund form or use a noun. Let me give you guys the example. And there it is. Let me see if we can add some more stuff to this. There it is. Okay. So what are some of the, what are some, most common words that we use. When it comes to time expressions, you guys will use before, after, and since. And so the, the example that we show here is the steps that we took. We kept the time word, we removed the subject, and then we changed the verb to the gerund form, or we used the noun, right? The original is, after he took the test, he slept for a long time. Okay. Aquí está el time word. Okay. After taking the test, he slept for a long time. Or after the test, he slept for a long time. And these are examples of the reducing adverb clauses with time. Here, let me show you another one. I think it could, I think it might fit, let me see. Yeah, that was all right. Since I moved to Rochester, I have gone to the Philharmonic numerous times. Since moving to Rochester, I have gone to the Philharmonic numerous times. Okay. Now there's a couple of these that you guys can use. Uh, let me go ahead and put the examples. I'm, I'm gonna try to put them all in. Uh, There's another one that we use. The other two that we use that you could potentially be using are as or as soon as. Let me see if it all fits in here. It's gonna get a little bit small, but I think we can make it fit. Oh yeah, yeah, it did. There you go. Okay. So look at this one. This one starts off with as, as I was falling asleep, I thought about my friends in Italy. So what are the rules? Whenever you guys see it like that, the three steps, right? In this particular case, you're gonna delete as completely you're gonna remove the subject and you're gonna change the verb to a gerund form. This one doesn't give you the option to change it into a noun. This one, you have to change it into a gerund. And so how do you change that or how does it sound? Falling asleep, I thought about my friends in Italy. So this is an example of you guys using or reducing when you guys see the word as. As I was falling asleep, I thought about my friends in Italy. You guys can turn that around and say falling asleep, I thought about my friends in Italy. Sounds nice either way. However, you can use it. As she was driving to work, she saw a deer on the road. Driving to work, she saw a deer in the road. So let me go ahead and change that color. Shape, let's see, yeah. Let's make those red. 
that way we don't get confused. All right. The other time clause, as soon as, once again, delete as soon as and replace it with upon or on. Remove the subject, change the verb to the gerund form, and now we're going to take as soon as she finished the report, she gave it to the boss. And that is going to turn into upon finishing the report, she gave it to the boss. As soon as we woke up, we got our fishing poles and went to the lake. On waking up, we got our fishing poles and went to the lake. Give it a little, let me see, let me, let me go back a little bit here and let me go ahead and change the color on these as well. And you guys, you guys can read through it. Remember, both of these cases are okay. You can use either or. However, you can reduce it, right? You can use the reduction. And if you reduce, then you can say it this way. Both ways sounds good. And both ways are okay to use. This is just showing you how it is implemented and how it's used in everyday conversation so that you guys can see it. So give it, give it a shot, give it a couple of tries, read through them real quick. Let me see if I can find some for a while. I didn't see any of those except the ones we saw on the All right, so it falls under, well, it's still the same. However, we use it with something called opposition. Let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. All right, so we did that one. Read through these as well. Read to yourself. As I was falling asleep, I thought about my friends in Italy. Falling asleep, I thought about my friends in Italy. All right, so I found some for a while, and these are the ones that we actually saw, I think. Now, this is called re reducing adverb clauses of opposition. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger for you guys. Hopefully it helps. And let me go ahead and turn them into red so that you guys can easily distinguish them. Okay, so now in this particular case, we are looking at though, although, and while. All three of these can be reduced in the following manner, right? You keep the subordinating conjunction, you remove the subject and the verb to be, keep the noun or adjective, or change the verb to a gerund form. Some examples, right? So if you're using an adjective, a noun, or a gerund. While, while he was a happy man, 
he had many serious problems. While happy, he had many serious problems. The noun, though she was an excellent student, she failed to pass the test. Though an excellent student, she failed to pass the test. Although he had a car, he decided to walk. Although having a car, he decided to walk. So the one that you guys will see the most is the one here, which is the while. While he was a happy man, he had many serious problems. While happy, he had many serious problems. And so this is the one that you guys will see in the exercise or actually on the video, which is the one that's being used the most. However, they touch up on almost all of these. Uh, they, talk, uh, they talk about the time clauses in general. They tell you about the rules of using the reduction and how to do it. They use while. I believe that you, that, that's the one that they use the most. That's the one that I saw the most. However, they could have put something else. Remember the rule behind the sentence structure and the comma? If you are starting the clause, if you are starting the sentence with a clause, I'm sorry about that, then remember that you have to have the first portion of that sentence or phrase, comma, and then my friends visited me. The list of the words, and these are all the ones that you could use, right? These are all examples of clauses with time. And the module itself was time clauses, how to use them, and what are the words that we use in a time clause? All right? Okay, so this is where we are so far. If we go back a little bit, let me go ahead and go back. I think we can, I think this is it. Okay. When you guys are going through the module, they will explain through some of these. They start off with this one here after, right? After I finish my work, I head to office. How do you do it? How do you change it? And they explain on how to change it. After finishing my work, I head to the office. What is the best way to say it? What is the best way to do it? And then throughout the presentation, that's what you guys are going to see. The, the video is no longer than two minutes. I think it's like a minute, 45 seconds. And then you start off with the listening exercise. Listen to the recording and then answer based on that. If you guys have any problems, please let me know in the WhatsApp. And then we start off with expressions about sleep. And this is another video. And this is something that we're also gonna cover throughout the week. All right. So what did you guys think of the presentation? Was it boring? Was it boring, huh? Tomorrow, we're gonna start it off. We're gonna kick it off with time clauses and we're gonna do a live worksheet so that you guys, to see what you guys remember. If, to see, see if you guys remember the time clauses, which are the ones that we use, which are used the most, and then of course, the rules, right? Where do I put the comma or when do I use that comma? And when can I reduce? So, ojo con eso. Okay. Any questions, my friends? Mi querida clase. Se durmieron. ¿Están dormidos? No, teacher. Excelente, Jorge. Muchas gracias, Jorge. Remember that this presentation is the one that I'm going to send you guys. We keep adding more stuff to it, more stuff to it. Um, I believe we're going to name it. We are going to put the name of advanced review presentation. 
And I think here I barely have, I have it as corporate English advanced one, but I will change it. And we're gonna name it advanced review PowerPoint presentation so that you guys know that it's from us. All right, all right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the class. I hope you guys keep track of that. Remember to go back into the module. You can also review the video and then go from there. And hopefully tomorrow we can cover more stuff. Uh, if you guys want to cover something specific, you guys can tell me in what's up and I can probably dig something up uh, as a review. All right. All right, everybody. I'm going to give you guys three minutes back on your time. Fantastic having you. Remember that it, this is our last week. Today was Monday and hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Namaste, everybody. Thank you, sir. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See you bye, tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.